Oh, hey everyone, and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Helian tonight, along with... Payson First Mate Drake here at your service, and the cannon is loaded. And welcome back to Dredge, our fifth episode of this. And, yeah, I was originally planning to stream Ori. I uh, also was planning to just stream earlier today as well, but uh, there's some prep <coughs> preparatory uh, construction going on in the house for something... Tomorrow, there's going to be an extension built onto the. Um, I forget the specific name of it, but we're getting a bit. We're getting more space up top uh, in the uh, in the room under the roof. Anyways, I'm pretty sure that music is supposed to loop again, and yeah, the game has had a has had its first big upgrade, big patch since release because now it, it's version 1.1. So let's go see what's different. Yeah, and also hello, Glacier Boy. We saw you in chat. <laughs> yeah, hello, we Glacier never Boy. We're late. We're always just in time. Uh, something, something, wizard. Something, something. <laughs> never late. Something, uh, something. Yeah. Fancy fireworks. The uh, first change is that we've gotten this book, haggling and bartering. This is because they've removed the time limit of two quests that well are the only ones with a time limit that being the <clears throat> the castaway who we got on time and the hungry blue robed cultist and uh, yes and since they removed the time limit of that people who did miss out on those have been gifted the book for free so let's go start on that uh, the other thing that i saw that they added in is that now we can zoom in on the ma map and such, and we can place markers. I think that's kind of fair for, for what I learned of that quest. The, the reason Blitz ended up going to the Devil's Spine early was because the contest needed something from this area early on. Okay. So I think like, that might have been an oversight uh, that would mean that you need you to have a uh, more dangerous earth place early on. Okay. Uh, for now, let's rest up. We are in the fifth and likely final area of the game. The volcanic... Uh, well, the, the Devil's Spine with ruins and the volcano. And yeah, we need to help the madman who is stationed here at the moment. The fanatic, because he has the last relic that we need. And we've gotten a bit of a preview of what monstrosities await us here by these columns. There's small little critters in the sea that will try to latch onto our boat, which we can scorch off with thermal vents. Or, uh, geothermal vents? I don't think there's a specific word for volcanic vents, but I think they're just called geothermal vents as well. And, yeah, their mother as well, who may be blind, but she can, leer, she can hear the little shits, so Wait. they'll both be chasing after us. Hmm? Mother Hydra? I don't think it'll be a Hydra. Oh, no, 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 that's her name, Mother Hydra. She's not a Hydra. Okay. Because here she is just called the... Uh, the blind, yeah, the large eyeless beast, the, the, the unseeing mother. Blind that can hear her children, avoid at all costs. I, 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 let me say this. Uh, do you remember Dagon? Uh, yeah. Mother Hydra is his, um, mother? wife and sister. Okay, but well, of course. Ooh, this place is going to be yeah. foggy all the time as well. Okay. At least I think he, he was... I know she's definitely his wife. Don't remember if he, he, she was also his sister or something. There's a message here. Pick that up quick. Okay, there's another port over this way. What? Oh, d that... That must be Mother, then, I'm guessing. And those are the small fries. Okay. Uh, if we go over this ourselves, we do not get damaged, no. 
But it does get rid of them. Okay. So now we know how they look. And we know how to get rid of them. Now, our current quest is to get three flames from these the three points. But of course, that's exactly where the uh, mother is hanging out. So let's first take a little peek over here. Yeah. No. Not going to hug this mother. Uh, this is a big fish. What? It's a Bissell. What kind of fish is that? Oop. And we have another one of these. Oop. Okay, let's put a marker here. A uh, question mark will fit. And... Okay, what is this place then? Hold on. Thank you for following Ultra Goldsmith. Oh, yep. So I forgot that. Yeah, thank you for the follow, Ultra Goldsmith. <laughs> They followed us after the last Warrior Within stream. <clears throat> yeah. I constantly forget when there's new ones in that. Also, I've tested out the the follow stuff. It should work now. What we both forgotten is then when, when someone follows, there's also supposed to be an animation that pops up. Uh, but didn't a lot of times. So it should work now with a different sound as well. You can take an easy guess as to which. Oh dear. Let's see. In the dim light of the cave, you can make out some paintings on both walls. See the left wall? These paintings depict the birth of a civilization. A great beacon of light is shown repelling a tentacled figure emerging from the sea. Okay. We've seen five... Each of the relics so far has given off a beacon of light. Could the collector actually be... Like, we both have the suspicion that the collector is like a servant of Cthulhu, right? Or something, at least. Actually, we, we haven't talked about that, actually. Hmm. I think we've both been thinking Assume. about it, but we haven't said anything about it. We've been so distracted about everything else that we yeah, forgot but... to beercraft about him. Yeah. May maybe he is actually an enemy it's of Cthulhu. Uh, let's see. Maybe? These paintings depict the fall of a civilization. A volcanic eruption tears through a tall lighthouse. Monstrous shapes devour people as buildings turn to ruin. Okay. In the dim light. Yep. It's the ancient lighthouse. You climb the many steps leading up to the ancient lighthouse. At its base is a salt stone door. Oh, uh, okay. I'm guessing these are the mothers over here, the zipping around like freaking piranhas. I don't think that's a mother. I think that's something else. Let's see. Hold on a second. You can't see a handle, but there is a large socket carved into the face of the door. That, that actually reminds me. There is something in our storage which we can't access here. We found a we found a part of a map. I wonder if we can find more pieces of that map and then find something with that. Yep. Yep. Okay, a little bit more than I expected here. Oh dear. I should probably say this. I. I finally installed my new table I got uh, around last Christmas. <laughs> okay. Yeah, they, we, we were sick around that, uh, that all the things got just in the way. And we also got my computer cleaned out. So now I have a massive uh, one, about 170 wide table. As in, oh, a bit under two meters broad. Okay. Oh, a stone so, shrine. An upright slab bears a carving. Two malformed fish riding under the sun. Oh dear. The slower slab holds two shallow grooves. Okay, we have one. Uh, we have one aberrant fish at least. Oh dear. I think I'm a bit too close. But yeah, folks, I have plenty of space for it. For once, I actually have 
My mouse on the table. Again. Even included my bloody damn metal long mouse mat. There is a lot of the tiny buggers. Fuck nobly. What hit they are aggressive? And they are not what I expected. I expected it to be maybe to be some deep ones and mother hydra, but this looks more like hellish anglerfish. Could be. Okay, I did not expect needing explosives here. Then again, we could go all the way around. Um, let's not for now. I also forgot to get. A volcanic rod for this. Let's see. Next stop is in between here. There's another message over there. Ow. Uh, oh crap, that's bad. That's bad. Especially since night is falling. Now get out of that. I was just to say that we haven't been we have been over damages to the boot quite well. It's until that. Uh, Two heavily plated creatures locked in battle. Two crabs? Those look like crabs. Yeah. They look like spider crabs. Okay, and oh, of no. course, just uh, in time. We'll pick up that message another time. I thought there was <laughs> I thought the lava flow there was uh, more of the little shits. Okay. I, I thought it was something else. Let's see. What was this place? Mm. Some kind of ancient civilization must have lived here. Judging by the state of the buildings, things didn't go so well for them. <clears throat> Pardon me if I have to clear my throat every now and then. Or burp. I'm <laughs> just back from dinner after all. <clears throat> I can't imagine they built all this around an active volcano. So the volcano must have become active sometime after they founded their city. Or, as the cave paintings show, it likely popped up right underneath their asses. I guess that the volcano caused them to leave, wiped them out, one way or another. All in all, it's a pretty inhospitable place. I'm not really sure why I come here. Okay. Uh, first off. Prepare. And, let's see. How many... Actually, before anything else, we grab ourselves some explosives. And let's see. Are there any upgrades that we can get? We have a bit here. But we need a little wood and cloth for that. Uh, need extra light. Two metal. And two wood. We're going to need a lot of wood, basically. Okay. Where do we need a lot of wood? Let's see. Okay, a bunch of snake mackerels. Uh, beyond that, we don't have any other fish, so bye bye. And... Snake mackerel. I never have a snake mackerel until now. Okay, we don't have enough to get this. I think, I think I read in the patch notes that. The, the merchant here now also will sell uh, these more frequently, like they have a better chance to restock or something. Uh, but they are really expensive, as you can see. 350 and so 350 uh, normally. So, yeah, we'll have to do with just getting the volcanic rods. Uninstalling yeah. those. So first we go to storage. Uh, give me a moment, I need to fix my nose. And there. Hmm. And then we just go buy the rods. Probably would have been cheaper to save up <clears throat> to save up for the better rods, but yeah, we don't know how quickly we could get any more. <clears throat> any more uh, <clears throat> research parts, play. Uh, 
There's no there. Turn those lights off. Oh yeah, there's two here. Okay, this um Yeah, crab pots. One yeah, I'm back. And two and he's still alive. A miracle. Welcome back. Thank you. Okay. Now we sleep. Alright. Snore. Snore. Okay. Snore. And yes, the reason I say snore is because if I try to do a snore sound, the mic ignores it. <laughs> okay. Points for your mic. <laughs> okay. Wait. Oh god, I, I think I know what those are. Hmm? What then? I think we may met the daddy. Wouldn't be too surprised. Oh, they, they kind of have a similar face and also one eye. So could these be the young wings of oh, oh, that hello. damn thing? Okay, there's another, there's another note here. So that's two here. Or, oh no, this is what is this? What what is that? Quickly try to grab it before anything finds us. Let's see, stone tablet. An ancient stone tablet bearing a strange glyph. Maybe the trader at Little Marrow knows something about this. Okay. Hmm. Let's see, there is a bunch of them over there. Can we pass through? Yes, we can. Okay. We could go in there and just get just an absolute fan club of all the little bastards. But we can also just do this. There we go. Of course. <laughs> Let's see. They've been avoiding damage for many episodes and now you wreck the whole boat. Stone Shrine, an upright slab, bears a carving two pale bottom dwellers hiding from their faith. A lower slab holds two shallow grooves. Okay, I can't say I can identify those two. Hmm. Yeah, we're going to need the Abyssal equipment in this area. Uh, how are we doing with these? Just more of those. Let's... Hmm. Actually, I didn't check if I didn't check if any of those are thra trawling uh, fish or not. So for the moment, let's head back to the merchant, the traveling merchant. So that's Big Mama. <laughs> okay, maybe they're not related to. I think we will be named that damn thing. Uh, Harold? Also, I think we no, found no. where the Colient is. The Colescent? That's a, Whatever. That's way to be for Coelacant. Yeah, we'll find it out once we get our hands on some more explosives. For now... Uh, no, wait. Uh, Har yep. Harold was a crab. The first crab. giant crab we met. Uh, okay. oh, it, it is a spider crab. I, I accidentally guessed right. And a squat lobster. Let's see. Covered in th tiny bristles and spines, this creature is thought to be blind. They process toxins spewed from hydrothermal vents. Okay. And they fit together just like that. And well, that's one of the shrines done then. Okay. Yep. There. And one, two, three. There. The rock splits with an almighty crack. It crumbles away, leaving its core. Okay, and some loot. A bit of wood. Goblet. 
and fathomless, fathomless flame. A cold unnatural flame. Dark shapes swirl and flicker in size. Okay. Take the plate as well. Now we need to get our hands on another aberrant fish for the first shrine. And then two specific fish for the second one. Okay, for now, we can sell all of these. Uh, and put that to storage. And then we just go install our... Actually, can we even install it on that? Uh, let's see, random is ring, ring. Yeah, we can just ex install that there. Actually, we could... We could install this one here as well. Just spend an entire day <laughs> putting <laughs> rods in the place. Uh, let's see, 38 on that one. And I... I think that actually covers everything now. Coastal, shallow, oceanic, abyssal, hadal, volcanic, mangrove, and dredge. Okay. Score these. Keeping this one at hand. Actually, let's let's put that one in storage. I'm pretty sure we can lose stuff overboard if we get damaged. Like it can happen with fish. Really, one percent remaining. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's see. All right. I was thinking of this. Uh, let's see. Three wood, two wood, four wood. Let's stick it in here. This is the biggest one. And rest up. Yet. Repair again. We've got a decent buffer of cash and... Oh, great. Now we've got thunder and lightning of two different kinds. Two? Wait, yeah, wait, like wait, wait, what do you... <laughs> volcanic what do you thunder. Like rumbling and erupting. Oh, you meant that? Oh, wait, well, yeah. Uh, Alright, you used it more correctly. Okay. Focus I, I, I was looking looking for lightning. And another crab. They can just hold hands. And I heard something. Yeah, there is something making noise in the area. Okay. How much are these two worth? Ninety each. Okay. Very good find. And let's see. What was that book about? Oh, yep. Yeah. I think the spider crabs actually are worth a lot. Okay, 5% off. Hmm? Oh, to, to, just to be, be, just to be for me there. But crabs are worth a lot, like spider crabs. Some crabs you will get fined for if you accidentally throw it into the cargo and not throw it yeah. back out. You can see that with uh, Deadliest Catch sometimes. Is that show even still going? Maybe? But yeah, there, there are specific kinds of fish that they just chuck overboard. Also, let's take a look at these messages. My darling, I have found you at last. When you left, I was scattered to the winds. But now, I feel almost whole again. There's just one thing left to do. Throw me back. Okay. The old mayor was talking about throwing stuff back. Let's see. 1st of June, 1927. Yesterday was the reading of his mother's will. Most of the remaining estate went directly to him, of course. But to my surprise, she bequeathed me her pocket watch. Curious. I'm not fond of the thing, but I know that taking it will mean a lot to him. I cannot help but feel it is some veiled jab at me from beyond the grave. She was the type to do such a thing. Was I late on some occasion? Cannot recall. Well, seeing as the current holder of it is going a bit bonkers, uh, yeah, could have been a post mortem curse. Uh, let's see. Yeah, light the statues, visit the trader. 
Okay. I found an ancient stone tablet with a strange glyph on it. It yeah, looks similar to the ones I saw on the trader's desk in Little Marrow. I should show him the tablet. He might know more. I, I completely overlooked or forgot that he had those on his desk. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to visit him. Yeah, yeah I, I remember the book he had, but I did not know he had the tablets. Let's see, can we... Let's not try and squeeze through that. We can go through here, though. Okay, you're one of the things that we need. A ghost shark. Okay. Sometimes called the chimera, this phantom of the deep lacks the teeth of other sharks instead of having three bony grinding plates fused to its skull. Okay, grinding plates, they use those to basically crush uh, their prey before swallowing it. Or swallowing the crushed remains, that is. Basically a living mortar and pestle. So like a shark duck? Or duck shark? You could call them that, yeah. <laughs> that, that, that would be a interesting way to nickname them. And what have we here? Just jewelry. Oh dear. Okay, this was I not a helicopter on. These are probably the ones that we need. Pale skates. One of the deepest living species of skates thought to use hydrothermal vents as incubators for its egg cases. Okay. And yeah, there's the big ass thing. Let's see if the trader restocked their explosives. And did we get this one or was it the... Yeah, we've got this one. Really? Oh, love of all Hillian! Uh, oh, good. <laughs> Glacier Boy, it looks like a pale Tony Hawk. <laughs> oh, the burn! Oh, we are in a volcanic area, so it's fitting to be burnt. There, replacement fish. Could make a bit of a dash for it. Okay, it wasn't the big ones that I saw earlier, just these smaller ones still. Okay. Hello, what are you? Objectives first, fish later. Then again, we need an aberrant fish, so we're going to need the fish anyways. For... Getting to the trader, we can just teleport back. There. Just skip up that well they be a lot faster with the trip at least. Rock splits again. Two refined metal. That is a re <laughs> that is really valuable. Nice. And on the research parts and our second flame. Okay. It it bubbles in the water hill. Yeah, that's a look. I think, I think this is the most gigantic jacuzzi we ever found. Let's see. Is there anywhere here we can dig up some cloth? Hmm. And again, in this heat, cloth likely wouldn't survive long. So what? Okay, there's another one of those... Uh, Blackstone Shrines or whatever over there. From the looks of it. I don't think we should probably uh, the return to the trader. Yes. Since we need, since we want to go back uh, to Little Marrow, I'm going to take Manifest as the active power for a second. Uh, yeah, here it is. Okay, just screw it. Uh, oh, we need to hold it. There we go. Poof oh, and poof. Love of. Okay, 
Yeah, that is what Manifest does, but it goes into the cooldown, of course. Bloody heck, I knew it teleport when I didn't know it actually. I thought something grabbed you. <laughs> well, technically, something probably did. It just tossed us back out again. Okay, trader. Uh, yes, find anything special lately? Oh, yeah, yeah, there's a little stone there. Okay, storage. Tablet. This might lead to something else. Show him this own tablets. And but he, has, he has those runes, at the very least. Let's see. The trader takes the stone tablets from you and inspects it closely, turning it over in his hands. Mm. Remarkable. Yes, I do believe this is a fragment of a larger arraignment. <clears throat> Pardon? He reaches up to a high shelf and brings down a similar looking stone, albeit one covered with what much more dust. Some years ago, I acquired this other piece. You found this near those ruins in Devil's Spine, didn't you? Yes. Ah, well, I suspect there will be more out there. I'll hold on to this for now and study it further while you search for the other fragments. Hmm. In the meantime, do you have any trinkets? Not really, no. Hmm. Does that mean that the other two parts are going to be at the Devil's Spine as well? Oh. Because if they're scattered all around the place, that's going to be a big pain in the neck. Hale, do you remember this place that needed a big stone tablet? Yeah, this, uh, <clears throat> the lighthouse. I think we're about to build that. Probably. So definitely going to keep an eye out for shiny... <clears throat> shiny dredge spots. Now, yes. so those two... Wait. Okay, so... You know what? This weekend is going to be the last time I buy spicy Doritos in a while. Okay. It makes my nose run. Now you better go catch it then. Oh, why you little... What? Loading like hand of a garlic. <laughs> uh, you should have seen Actually, that one no. coming. You know what? No. I will do it with something harder and bigger than garlic. Onions. Uh. Snack squids. Tasting tongues writhe wildly around sets of yellowed crooked teeth. The top row are flattened like human molars. What? First off, these. Second, these. Okay, hopefully it'll accept a fish from a different area. You will just sell the rest to get a decent 60 ish from that. Not selling the ab aberrant? No, we need that for the shrine. All right, let's see. Ship rights, repair. Okay, let's take a quick second to sort here a bit. Let me get this right. Mm -hmm. The damn thing's tentacles is its tongues, but instead of having the like a squid has, it has human teeth. Yep. What the heck? Okay. And, and I thought piranhas with human teeth are disturbing enough, but those are the vegetarian piranhas. Okay, it's just the sharks. A bonk. <laughs> Luckily, we can't get damage from those. Uh, anything new here, or are you just chilling on your own again? Uh, yeah, just chilling. Okay. Okay, just a triple check. Yep. Alright then. I 
probably should have marked that other shrine on the map, but we were kind of being chased by fish, so... Yeah... It's... If that, if that patch had come out a bit earlier, we could have marked uh, a few more of the oddities around the place, like the giant crabs and such. But oh well. For now, we can hand uh -oh. over two of the flames here. Um, I, uh, have you checked the uh, little thing up there? Wednesday day something? Uh, 90, uh, 59. Okay, almost two months. Yeah, we've been here soon. Two months. Two bloody months. Let's see. The trader said there are more talents to find. I should bring them uh, to him when I find them. One of unknown. And that's just the aberrant here. Okay, statues. Let's go one by one. The cold flame roars in the statue's hands. Okay, middle. There we go. Now, does our guy have anything new to say? I've lit some of the flames. I can see that. Oh, game, game unselected for a second. I can see that, but we cannot proceed in darkness. All three must be lit. Okay, and we have just what we need for the last one. Okay, just straight ahead here. Oh god, I need to fix my nose again. The amphitheater. Amphibian. I actually forgot to check if the merchant had new explosives. Okay, here we go. There. Rock splits. And hello. Encrusted talisman. Four hours and stop. 330% fishing speed. A stone tablet surrounded by uh, a tooth uh, by tooth and bone. A glyph of a hook is carved into the center. Okay. Oh, also we found we can I forget completely forgot about the flounder we picked up. Uh you go you go swim here. Store that. And Oop. Nope, bad, bad fish, bad fish, bad there fish, tell you. Let's see, are, are there spots where we can dig up those glyphs marked especially? Or is it a random chance to find them? And yes. yeah, that's some false fishing indeed, the Glacier Boy. <laughs> yeah, let's see. Keep that pepper spray ready. Let's go drop off that last flame. And hopefully we don't end up summoning C Cthulhu. Because I very much get the feeling that this civilization uh, held back Cthulhu or something, Eldritch. Okay, statues. The last one. And there. Preparations are complete. The fanatic awaits. Flames are lit. I can feel it. The chill of the deep touches us now. It is time. Come. Follow him up the steps of the temple. At the top is a black stone altar. Stacked high upon the altar are layers of dark damp wood. He draws the antique pocket watch from his robe. It sways hypnotically in the breeze. It is almost yours. May it mark the start of your journey, and the end. Still holding the pocket watch in one hand, he clambers atop the pyre and raises his scroll. He begins to chant. Uh, let's just stand back. Oh, you are rooted to the spot. Damn it. The wind picks up, swirling sea spray around the altar. The cold blue flame rises from the sodden wood at its feet. 
chanting grows louder. Freezing Blaze climbs his legs. His chanting continues, no pain detectable in his voice. He lifts his arm uh, skyward. Seconds later, the inferno engulfs him. It rages for a moment, and abruptly dies away. The cold mist pools around the floor of the temple briefly before the wind sweeps it into the sea. No trace of the fanatic remains. The pyre is cooling down. And it's the last one. You take the pocket watch. It's freezing cold. It vibrates in your palm. Clock hands spinning wildly b below the cracked face. Oh dear. Let's have a look at that. The clock face swims underneath the cracked glass. Hands spinning erratically. It even makes a ticking sound when you pick it up. Ooh. Okay, I'm getting the feeling that this ritual of sacrifice might be holding something at bay. And since we have no intention of staying, we might just be leaving the door open. We need that. This was actually pretty easy. Thank you for that. And you said Klaus would not survive here. Yeah, this is less warm than closer to the other main uh, to the underland bits, I'd say. Can you take him? Take him. Okay, I think that was about what we needed for one of the upgrades, at least. Uh, of course, we don't have access to it here. Uh, let's sleep into this second month, or technically the last day of the second month that we've been here. Okay. Six months, you somehow still alive. What's with the music? Shapes are deep. Yeah, it's changed. Something has changed. was a different sound. I think we might have pulled the cork off of something. It's metal. Oh dear god. No, now it starts and I be getting even more paranoid than before. <laughs> be able to complete any upgrades with these I think but still okay dead ahead nothing new creeping around in the water I'm tempted to use the teleport again to get back but I do want to see if there is anything different on the way back. Okay. One, two. Okay. One extra. Where can we put that? Uh, we can put these in here. But where would that put the new lights? Down there. Okay, then we wouldn't be able to fit the one. We wouldn't be able to fit the. 3x1 light that's now available. But we can put in a smaller one. There. Put that in storage. Okay. Also, uh, probably should have looked at this. <clears throat> okay, that's where the next part pieces are going. Yeah. We, we can get behind the upgrades. I feel like we maybe need to spend time to fix that. Let's see. Armored Sea Robin. Okay. 
Small fish with angular armored plates. It has sensory barbs under its body that help it detect prey on the seabed. Never okay. heard of this one. No, just going to take a look around for any more places that are shiny. And once again, I forget to check for explosives. And it looks like these things don't start calling for Mama uh, until they get close enough. Do you have the booms? Ah. Yep. Now you have two of these, okay. Feed of wrench, you little bastard. Feed of wrench. Uh, let's rest. Okay, no horrible crashes in the night, so nothing has awoken yet. Nope, it still ignores my snoring sounds. I, I think it's, it's somewhat it's set to actually look for ver yeah, basically words. Okay. Where was that? Here it was. Okay, big boy. Time to break you out. Wait, no. If that was to get, then you would ignore mo most, almost all my love uh, shock codes. Yeah, yeah, there it is. <laughs> the name I just cannot pronounce. An ancient See, giant. Can't. By uh, an ancient giant, battered by the years gone by. Slow eyes uh, swivel and look at you mournfully. Okay. Okay. Helia? Hmm? Repeat after me. Coelacanth. Uh, say that again? Coelacanth. There we go. First you said sea cat. Uh, but yeah, that, that's how you pronounce it. I, as a kid, I thought it was pronounced Suelacant. Uh, yep. There we go. Defaced um, skate. Bones replace cartilage and erupt through soft skin. A frightening new form begins to emerge. Yeah. Polyparasitic. Oh. And I thought the uh, ancient bone, f uh, armored fish were kind of terrifying. Or some of the dirt be looking, but this. <laughs> Volcano snail. This hefty beast lives around hydrothermal vents. Its foot is coated in hundreds of iron plates. It means you could catch the snail with a magnet. <laughs> okay. Wait, is that actually a thing? Or they just made that up? Uh, I'm pretty sure those hydrothermal uh, vents spit out a lot of iron particles. So if they stick around them long enough, they well, would basically get a coating of iron. So okay, you... that would make sense. Just it, it, it sounds so weird since normal animals don't have layers of iron normally. Okay, almost 290 for the ancient one. Yeah, we're good on Oni for a bit. Um, let's see. It, it, did you call it ancient one? Yep. Are, are you gonna start a coelacanth cult? No. <laughs> Let's see. Trying to peek for any more salvage areas. Let's see. That is over there. Let's have a look down here. Wait, I don't remember. I forgot where they rediscovered. Was it in West Africa or South Africa? Not sure. Okay, fog is lifting a bit. But there's a fire over there. Can we find more of those glyphs around here? Let's see. Have... And Glacier Bill says maybe. 
Oh, oh, we, we can dock here. Okay. You want to dock next to an old rowboat. Somebody is here. He's hunched over by the campfire, muttering to himself. He cautiously approached. Oh, hello. Uh, Hill, don't tell him about the cult. Witch cult. <laughs> did you... Did you throw it back? What? The book. I think you've mistaken me for someone else. I'm not seeing things. It's really you, isn't it? Who do you think I am? He turns away, wringing his hands. He speaks to the fire. I think he's talking about the book the collector has. It was him. Him and his damned wife. They dredged up that old book. But something, something cloaked in fog, followed it out. Right through the boat. Boom. Uh. The man makes crude explosion noises and motions wide with his hands. Still talking to the fire, as though pantomiming a story to a child. It spoke. It said it was coming for our breath. That we wouldn't be needing it soon. And then darkness crashed down. An age later, some of us washed up on the shore, and him, still clutching that book. Oh. Throw it back, we cried, as the fog rolled ashore. We thought, surely it can be still undone. What book? Silver and crimson, yes. The book covered in her blood. Oh. What? Oh. So it was his wife that... Uh, that's her... her watch. Uh, not making any sense. Throw it back. The man closes his eyes tight as he holds back tears. His voice falls to a whisper. Please, the lighthouse keeper. She saw. She knows where it came from. Where it, where it needs to go. Tell me more about this book. Silver and crimson. Silver and crimson. He rocks back and forth, staring through the flames. So, those messages from the married couple. That was him and his wife. Oh dear. What do you know about the fog? It cloaks that calamitous thing. It's evil, haven't you felt it? What does yeah, the lighthouse keeper have to do with this? She saw it all, that ruinous day. Oh. Ask her, beg her, tell her I... Trails off, his face collapsing in sorrow. Okay, I think this might be leading us to that alternate ending. Yeah, and also I saw a chat there. All right, good, good to know that it, that it was in the South Africa it was rediscovered. Okay. And discovered it was taste horrible. <laughs> okay, if if we'd skipped this, we could have missed out completely on some uh, thing. Let's see, that's the Gill Cliffs. I'm not sure if we've been here, but I'm not really feeling the mood to go across. Yeah, I just love that is. It is horrible. It's not poisonous. You can eat silicant and be fine. Just. It's not a delicacy. Also, this shows that there are. There are docks. Wait. Is the. Wi are those winds blowing here? They're swirling. Okay, that I think this is where. The, yes, this is definitely where these winds have been blowing towards all this time. The heck? Okay. Wait. Who is guiding the wind? Good point as well. Uh. Like, are, yeah. are we being tricked into thinking the guy with the book is the enemy or not? Yeah, he's mighty suspicious at the absolute least. And yeah, there, there are unmarked docks in the game. Okay, let's do another round here. On this side. Not seeing any shinies. Not seeing any... Shinies! Big clubbing things pop up at us. Uh, not sure how much cloth we need, but we're close to a dock. Yeah, we, we are not handing that watch back. We are bringing that straight to the lighthouse keeper.
Let's see. Are these here as well? Are you not tempt fate? Yes, they're... Wait. I was just checking if the mimics were here as well. Uh, oh, I... Those frogs thing is like that, like that we see there. You see me that those is the damn thing? No, I, th I think those are something else. Like, I've seen a few... Yeah, I've seen a few bits of other pe of people uh, playing, and those are, I think those are more panic clouds of a sort. Uh, Hill? What Hill's... on that island in front of you? Uh, yeah, it's moving. Yeah, I saw the uh, island earlier, thought that island looked a bit strange, and... Are those uh, trees... Okay, they're, they're bushes. Oh, for love of... They look like something else earlier the other day. Yeah, they looked like they could have been something different, something a lot more dangerous. We are heading right back into danger. Oh, oh, oh brother, country what Glacier Boy has written there. I know, I see oh. my name. Let's see, Jack here. Fucking dolphins. <laughs> Kier turned into a loot goblin when he heard a Chinese. <laughs> Chinese. Chinese. Let's see. The color of the water here makes it a bit harder to see. Hmm. Yeah, let, let's circle around the entirety of this place. We haven't gone around this here. There's aberrant fish there, but we have no real interest in fish. There's, there's a glyph. What was that sound? It, that was the sound of these little bastards. You're persistent and you're also stuck. So get fucked. <laughs> okay. Oh, you lose. And it's in an explosive area. Boom. I really should have stocked up on those whenever I, it, <laughs> there was the chance. So for now... Yeah, he's got to head back to the merchant. Is that refined metal? You... Oh, right, the past... The little bastards don't do damage, but they cling. Until... Fuck off, all of you. Yeah, they, they are just there to slow us down so... Um, <laughs> so their mother can come... Uh, soften off the meat, so to say. Okay. Oh, I thought they were to chase us more... Before they would actually start doing anything. Also, I saw the wind blow, the magical wind blowing again. Let's see. Next time we, next time we catch sight of that, I'm going to keep an eye out for if it is blowing in the direction of the old mayor. Hmm. Store these. Two cloth there. Okay. One and two. How much cloth do we need for this? Four. Okay, so we need three more cloths for the last of the hull upgrades. Yeah. Mm. Should we try and upgrade as everything before we finish the game? Maybe. I'm not I'm not going I don't want to grind like half an hour of uh, fishing materials. Uh, but I do want to try and pick up some more along the way. Uh, yeah, we can we can do that at the at the same time as yeah, other things. Go. Okay. Then we and rest. I'm gonna, gonna refill my drink. Feel like I could need it. Okay. Get that refresh. 
Yes, that did refresh those. So let's just grab another. And head on out. I'm like 95% sure that those glyphs are going to lead to something different in the end game. Which I guess technically we all... Oh, hello. There, there's the other one. Uh, how do we get to you then? There's here. But that's with the little bastards. So we'd be a sitting duck for mother. So that looks like the only way in. Uh, okay, banish is off of cooldown. Yo, I'm back. Welcome back. Can we fit through this? I just realized one thing. They come in and slow you down, which allow the mother to. Yep. They are smart. Yep. I'm not smart enough to stay away, or to stay awake completely from this, since they should know that we have the ability to. Okay, where was the other one? It was around the other side here. That does mean that we are defenseless now if we are caught again. Uh, there. Let's not bump the walls. Yep, yeah, use explosives. There we go. We should have spares or a spare set there. Okay. Now we have the other half of the tablet. Now then, let's see if there is anything different now between here and the marrows. Uh, if we want. Let's first skip another night. <laughs> At least we don't have to deal with twisters here. And for an, a volcano that was said to be active, it's been very quiet. Hmm. I, I was honestly expecting having to dodge fireballs or something. If that was the case, I don't think that there will be a village of towers around here. Let's actually do a check. I suspect that okay, underwater uh, vent under it is keeping it at bay. As in, it has areas to flow out instead of exploding. Could be. For I think that is, that is a thing with some volcanoes that once have erupted, they sometimes have mini eruptions next to them. This is usually easier to manage. Let's see. I know one of these was a crab in disguise, but was it this one? No, it was not. So we place a marker. Okay. Talk to it. No, it's not active, so it's of no use. Okay, so not a morning person. Anything is going to pop up, it's going to pop up now. Right, that place had a lighthouse. And so does the oh dear gods. First stop. Okay. It is the an the anticipation. That is the worst. Another stone tablet. Yep. Based on the table next to the others. Hmm. Judging by the age of the stone and the shape of the glyph, these are part of the same set. Keep this for now. Yep. 
It looks like they joined together to form a square, so hopefully there's just one more to find. Oh, you've got another? Wonderful. Please, let me see. Takes it, places it on... Uh, turns them over and arranges them together into in a square. On the underside of the uh, tablets, new glyphs begin to form, casting an eerie light onto the low ceiling. Mm. That can't be good. Hmm. Yes, go on. Begins transcribing the glyphs onto an old scrap of parchment. Each stroke appears to demand excruciating concentration. After a few minutes, he puts down his pen and reads aloud. When the sky mistakes the stars, and the uh, air grows thick with night, the deep shall open its scars, protect us, O guiding light. I only know of one guiding light, but these tablets predate the lighthouse at Greater Marrow by centuries. The fragments are fused together now, but don't you take this back. In theory, they should open a lock somewhere, but where? Four fragments fused together. The trader at Little Marrow says they form a key to a guiding light. An intriguing mystery. You let me know if you make any progress. In the meantime, no, we don't. He proved our honor where there is another lighthouse around here. Yeah. And he is still just zombified. Hmm. I am so concerned. I. I get the feeling that with how paranoid that guy has become, that he might act out on his own if we yeah. go talk to the shop, uh, to the lighthouse keeper. So, do you have anything to say? No. I, I just remember something about Seal Cant. No. I remember how people described how we taste beside him tasting bad. How then? Rotten. Yeah. I think some compared it to Sustroming. No, well, that's one way to survive. Just taste like shit and nothing will want to eat you. Mm. I think it tastes great for the fish. Or the fish, that is. Uh, th there are some kinds of beetles that's, uh, <laughs> that specifically have some sort of coating on their shells or exoskeleton. That frogs and toads just find it absolutely disgusting and will actually spit them back out if they <laughs> eat, try to eat them. I think that oh. might have something similar. Have you heard of that? I just imagine a frog trying to eat a um, bombardier beetle. What do you know about the Silver and Crimson book? She shudders at the very mention of the book. You're really asking me? After all this time, you know it must be returned. She looks at you with deep pity. We have to move on, for her sake as well as yours. Take control. Be rid of that thing once and for all. Okay. So that did not go anywhere I thought it might go. Wait. Hmm. Is he trying to summon his wife back or something? I, I, I think he is trying to resurrect his wife. And, well, it's being done through the, the typical devil's bargain. As in, he is likely to get something back, but likely not her as she should be, as she was. Basically, he gets a deep one wife? Possibly. Or just a, a rotten corpse. But, but I'm, now I'm just getting extra nervous out on the open ocean like this. It, it, yeah, especially when we know what we have been finding. Yep, uh, uh, what? <laughs> with very good reason, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> with very, very, very good reason. <laughs> okay, uh, Holy. Like, does this game have mic access or something? <laughs> because it was a bit too well timed. <laughs> uh, that's a clip. 
I actually I, oh, oh, you did it. You did clip it. Good. Okay. Open it up for later editing. Okay. <laughs> Let's just uh, sleep. Sleep and ignore all of the terrible, terrible things that lurk in the depths. The dreadful depths. Uh, I, I don't oh. think we can fit that bastard on uh, on our deck. Not without sinking ourselves. Wait, what the heck are you on the boat? Yeah, Glacier Boy, he's saying a big fish, catch the big fish. <laughs> oh. To which I say, you go catch the big fish. <laughs> oh, good God. Yeah, that, that's what I mean. Okay. Time to open the door and see what mysteries lurk beyond. If this thing could have held off something, maybe we can reignite it. The fuse tablet clicks into place and the door rumbles before sliding aside. Step inside. You step through the doorway of the ancient lighthouse. The stairway to the top has collapsed. This is as far as you're going to get. Around you are a number of dusty objects. Some of them look valuable. Hello there. Flame of the sky. Oh, that, that is a very strong light. Let's see. Almost double the, what we have. Impossibly bright for such a compact design. This delicately faceted crystal lens focuses a perpetually shimmering flame. Yep. That is going into place right the hell now. Yep. Light up the night. Achievement. Okay. Could we... Could we use that as a weapon? Or is it just a, a very special light? As fast as the engines are now, I get the feeling they're not fast enough. They're not going to blow out the engines. What was that? That was Mama, I think. I yeah, let's up. Cloth. Can I we don't get think that this? was the, the Mama. Something is continuously breathing out around here. Okay, two more cloths. I think we can pick up some more salvage. The blue? At steel points. Um, let's risk it. Actually, yeah, we can go between. And move it, move it. Not like King Julian, just move it. <laughs> oh, gee. If that stupid monkey shows up, I'm tossing it overboard as bait. Or a distraction. He is sort of correct, but he is a lemur, and what lemurs are a type of monkey. Almost past the rock. Now we have thunder. Lovely. What, what, what else? Storms, hurricanes, flying eldritch horror fish. Oh. We've dug up plenty of uh, horror Doug? fish already. Dug up? Yeah, pulled up there. Looking yeah, you the were. You, 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 you know how to fish, right? Yes. Though it has been at least a decade, I think, since last time. Probably more for me. Okay. Rest up. There's a bit more salvage here to get. Okay. Some wood, we need that as well. Yeah, I, I 
I think we've pulled the cork off of some very, very bad things. Ooh. Really? What makes you think that? Okay, this is cloth. Okay. But, 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 yeah, but, but what did you see as expect? A pot of gold? King Arthur's sword? Atlantis? Uh, not really. But we'll have to see what we've likely unleashed. There we go. Oh no, now you, now I just remember something we had some YouTube uh, the other night. What then? Yeah, there was always some funny uh, comic clips. And apparently someone found, found a rainbow, follow it, follow the rainbow, and they found unicorns eating leprechauns. <laughs> okay. Sounds like an Owl House twist to it. Uh, it was not an Owl House comic, but at all. But yeah, I, I, I was very caught off the order that one. And it was right before bed. Okay. So I just thought, please don't make me dream that. Please don't make me dream that. <laughs> uh, let's see. Three metal. Actually, can we take that back? Let's see. Three woods. Two woods. Two wood there. Two woods there. I'm not sure we have much need for an extra light at the moment with this bad boy installed. So, yeah. let's so put these um, in here. Yeah, better motor, but we good. Along with better net and hook. Cloth, but, cloth. Yeah. Okay. Unless we can install multiple lights? Yeah, we can install multiple lights, like with multiple engines. And if we get that one extra engine spice, we can switch this one out for one of the old ones that we have here. Oh, which gives alien. almost double. But engine space. You said engine spice. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm getting a bit nervous with the big fucking fish going around. You're not alone. And um, Glacier Boy, I see you in the shed. Uh, you, you sure it's fine? Uh, problem is, uh, problem. Question is, do you think it's really fine, honestly? Or do you just uh, scared at us? Okay. What the heck? I, I, I swear, if. If Durvan and Big Mac were watching this, I will not be surprised if they'd be scared for life from trying to fish. Might as well open this up. This is where the refined metal for the center of the map is. So might as well grab that. Okay, now, now I know I myself misheard you there. What then? For some reason, my brain racing that you said centaur. But yeah, I, I knew I knew you meant sender. I know my brain just served. Yeah. Oh, I completely forgot about this thing here. Uh, can we take all of you? And yes, we can. Do we even have enough room for? Uh... I'm surprised they haven't eaten each other. I leave you in there. There, now we've uh, got yes, a people. bit room. Crabs eat all the crabs. That sounded like a bit more of an ominous rumble than before. Yeah, that was not my belly. Let's head over here, see if the trader has anything extra to add. Might as well park like this. Probably should have started parking like that a lot earlier in the game. Okay, 
Oh, you yeah. explained to the trader that you found a use for the fused tablet at the ancient lighthouse in Devil's Spine. Mm. It opened a door in that ruined lighthouse? Yes, that makes sense. Well, I hope you found some interesting things for me to look at. Yes, we got you a ring, another ring, and two goblets. Okay. Um, nothing else to say on that? Okay. Then... Going to risk a dash across. Not that there's much that can jump us in the short time that we do go across there. Still. Yeah, and that is some good light. Okay. Fishmonger. Crabs for days. Yep. I forgot to pick up the, <laughs> the other crab pots. So just that's going to storage. That as well. Some of the neighborhood kids playing outside, making noise. I uh, can't hear them. Just your imagination. Okay. <laughs> Four refined metal. That's quite something. Yeah. No, no. I might actually have to start tossing stuff out here. Like we have much better. <clears throat> we have a much better version of this thing and that thing. Wait, wait. You, you can sell them. Yep. Nice. Actually, can, can we look how many refined metals we need? We can. It needs three here. Do any of these need refined metal? No. Okay. That means that we can sell one of our refined metal. You are just going to keep stored. Yeah, there's no way we're going to fit that thing in there since the next space is over here. So I get the feeling the next upgrade is going to widen our ship again. Yeah. Okay. okay. Wait, we can't sell these? Okay. Not to you, at least. Um, let's see. Yeah, I think the trade, the girl on the sea sells it. Did she ever say her name? Uh, no, she just went by traveling merchants. Basically, nobody here has used their name. A bit like uh, Fallen London that way. Wait, what? Uh, in Fallen London, the or in the browser game Fallen London and Sunless Sea, and. <clears throat> As well as uh, Sunless Skies, I, I believe almost none of the characters are named are referenced to by their actual name and more like a, a short two-word description, like nervous something or other. Okay. Well, it beats uh, the old Victorian name system. As people did not expect you to survive long, they named you just random things. Like, so okay. people were named Spitbucket. I see. There is one small difference. Uh, the incandescent array takes up one more space and is five one five hundred lumens less, but it has a it has fifteen meters of range over the array or the, the flame the flame of the sky. So. Combining the, that one with that would be a good idea. Could be. Let's have a look. We get two more light spaces, so we can't fit the big one up there, but we could fit. Uh, we could fit a halogen or a tungsten floodlight on there. Hmm. Let's rest. Let's do... Let's see. We have half an hour, about. I think we're going to regret this, but I think we should hand in the watch. Or shall we try to get just enough... Actually, no. We'd have to get quite a bit of materials for the next stage as well. With hmm. Okay, I think we'll be heading into the end game with this, but it don't think it'll be the exact end. 
Uh. Okay. Ruined mansion. Climb the broken steps to the old mansion. The waves swelling and crashing against the basalt columns that surround you. You pause before crossing the threshold. Okay, we can conceal the relic. I think I think this is the point of no return. Let's conceal it for now. Okay. Hmm. Let's see. Let me check a little something. Yeah, game will be saved. And actually, there is no way to save and then go again. And yeah, we can't copy over. Hmm. So. <clears throat> we want a good or bad ending. Yeah, we, we have no idea though what could cause the difference. So. Yeah, we, we don't even know who is bad or good. Yeah, the people uh, of the the people around here don't like him at the very least. Um. Let's see, we can't really get anything more. Let's see. 67 knots for one spot more than this. Okay, that's a good amount. Let's see. I say we prepare a little bit more. Try to get that next stage. I have no, I have no idea what could lead to what decisions could lead to a different end, unless it's like a choice at the end or something. Uh, let's see. Yeah, sure we could look it up, but six wood, eight. We need eight woods. Uh, I don't know if we dare to look it up uh, which uh, leads to which ending. So that there could be spoilers. Yeah, and I get the feeling if we... Uh, I get the feeling <clears throat> we won't be able to get back to redo the last part. So... Hmm... I, I think we risk it. I think we risk it. And yeah, if if there really is an alternate ending, we can look that up. Yeah. No. Um. No. I'm just going to actually, no. That's. Um, Have you ever had the? Actual bad ending? Uh, we've had it with Guacamelee 2, and I still haven't been able to get myself through that uh, chicken area. Not that, it ha I, not that I've been beaten by it over and over, more that I just haven't been able to wrangle my sleep schedule into shape enough for it. Yeah, and also, I'm not sure I would call Guacamelee bad ending, really. Okay, so we can't tell her that the old mayor is still alive. How the hell did he... Oh, he got a boat. So that explains how we got all that way. Okay. Yeah, a part of me doesn't really want to redo everything if it comes to that. Uh, is there a way to copy my save, perhaps? Or is it... Let's see. Dredge, copy, save, file, yes. It's, it's, uh... <laughs> but then the question be, how do you get the good ending? Yeah, maybe something will reveal that. For now, though. Here we go. 
He approaches, drawing closer with an incessant ticking. We have the pocket watch. We take out the watch. Its once frozen hands are now inexplicably twitching in a rhythmic struggle, trying to but failing to move forwards. We place it in front of the collector. Though it has been some decades since I last laid eyes upon this, the sound of its mechan mechanisms has grown no less unpleasant. You don't look that old. Then again, there at the moment. Then again, something has probably been keeping him alive, if he is even human still. And you got the achievement. Yep. And with that, our collection is complete. I must admit I am surprised. I did not think you had the determination for such a job. Now, with these five relics in my possession, only one thing remains. I suspect you know by now. You know what? It will become apparent soon enough. We must make one final voyage. This time, I will be with you. Okay, so we can still turn back now. But let's just see all the same. I I don't know what we could be what we could do to head towards a different path at the moment. Oop. Warning: You are entering the final phase of the game. Your progress will not be saved from this point. Okay, okay. So we can go. But that is good of the game, but it's also going to add a massive risk on whatever's coming next. So this is the official point of no return. Uh, it means if it were to accidentally die for something, we will need to respawn from here, but that means we can explore the alternative ending at least. Yeah, again, if and how. So for now, we proceed. One more time, yes. So we are fully... This is now sort of permadeath mode. <laughs> Only we'll get zapped back here. But, but I have to praise the others for not many games double ask you like that. Yeah, in case you accidentally click past or something. Yeah. The relics are coming with us. We should wait for the fog to thicken. With luck, the seas will remain unaware of our intentions. Unaware. Oh, no, oh, crap. We're going out at night. At mid uh, 1 a.m. Now, our destination is the open expanse to the west of Greater Marrow. It's marked on the map. We must not tarry on the open waters, not with such a significant cargo. Make haste. The collector is aboard your vessel. Okay. Keep him up. Good guy. Maybe. For his book, like, he made plans to stop it almost. Oh, time is still. Time is not moving forwards. We are going to get attacked. We are absolutely going to get attacked. <laughs> Day 68! Is it at 69? Nope, that's 68. Oh dear God, one more day and bloody heck I will have to strangle you. Okay, I, I'm I'm going to I'm going to push back from the, ch the chair a bit. Just reach forwards and press forwards. We are going. <laughs> I also am going to lower my volume because we are so getting jumped by something. The fact that nothing is doing it is only raising the tension. Okay, what is going to go wrong? This is the place. This is where she was taken from us. And where we can at last bring her back. Yep, this is, was all about resurrecting his wife. Only here, and only here, and only because what we've achieved. He opens the book and begins to read aloud. To release a lost one frozen in time. Is that thing shimmering? That thing is shimmering, yes. He throws the pocket watch overboard. And tethered by chains in the deep. He throws the necklace overboard. Bind them to this world once more. He throws the ring overboard. 
Open the door to the starry heavens. He slots the key into the lock of the music box. And lay the weary world to rest. He throws the music box overboard, its key left unturned. Unshackled. There, there goes our light, there goes our flame. Oh. And there she is. What should be her? Did he just... I think he summoned... I. Th oh, yep, 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 that is... Uh, hello there. Yeah, he... Okay. <laughs> I was... I was half expecting... I was half expecting to be pushed in some sort of boss fight, but this is not... Uh, yeah, that... The lighthouse um, smashed. History repeated itself, but I, I explained the Yomsky, but I like this ending more for this was more. Yeah. Uh, what do we call it? it? Imposing? Yeah. And terrifying? I'm, I'm not sure if that was Cthulhu himself. Maybe Dagon? Not but, Dagon. Yeah. It, 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 it might be something that's. Supposed to be inspired by Cthulhu, or one of his sons or daughter. That was the end of the world, Glacier Boy. He resurrect. He got his wife back, but in turn, he damned the entire human race. Yeah, he also it awakened someone else. Yeah, he opened the door. And someone followed him right, followed her right through. If, again, if that even was her, truly her. But, uh, actually... Oh, once the credits are done, we are going to load back in. Because Ooh, yeah. what has every present, what has every passenger been so far? Take slots. Yeah. An item in our cargo. Can we throw him overboard? <laughs> oh, that's a good question. But yeah, for Glenn, <sighs> I think I think it, it that thing that spawned up that is supposed to be this world's version of a old one. Yeah. Likely inspired by Cthulhu. Oof. Yeah, if if this is not the end of the world, it is at, ver at the absolute least the end of this region. And I very much doubt it will stay with just that. Oh dear. Yeah. That, that is something that I've noted with this game, is the dread and tension is actually scarier than the actual things, because I believe I... I, I believe I've seen you know, bits of people encountering the clouds, and from what I, well, glimpsed, it's what it only really does is similar to the, the mind suckers, that it raises panic, and when panic gets high, that is when the real th th threats start coming out. That is when, well, like we saw at the mangrove that stuff starts popping up from the deep and attacking us. There it was Vines, and I've seen a, a snippet from Sloop Tube, where they were rushing across open water with high panic, and basically a tentacle came up to slap them. Not at the oh, base, yeah. just open waters. Oof. But, yeah. That, that, I guess that is the sign of a good horror game. It has you dreading to act. I, I was, I actively did not want to move out onto the open water there. Even though I, to a degree, I know there is nothing that can actively hurt me as in the person. 
I there's still just do not want, do not want, do not want, do not want yeah. that goes on in the brain. <laughs> Wait. And I, I do not realized. like getting scared. Uh, <laughs> I just realized the lightning <laughs> is crimson. Yeah. No, no, that one wasn't. Yeah, but yeah. Wait, is Crimson Thunder here? Hmm? Uh, it's, I'm it's a character a... for Hammerfall. Okay, I was the thinking band. you meant a... <laughs> I thought you meant a... a superhero character or something. No, no. In Hammerfall, they have some characters, and Crimson Thunder is one of the characters that appear in some of the songs. Okay. And of course, Hector Hammerfall Ooh. is. I think you, you I guess who Hector Hammerfall is in Hammerfall songs. Yeah. Okay. Let's leave these to roll. And yeah, we let's see if we can murder one man to spare countless. Oh uh. dear God! And if if we cannot, then I do wonder how we could get a different ending again if there is one i've i've specifically kept away from uh, sites like tv tropes or at least its page on this we, because there you can you know, through the tropes themselves you can often just get minor spoilers or just big ass hints as to what is likely to happen yeah but we haven't gotten a hit on the good ending with this if there even is one. Uh, there is. Because that That is something with Cthulhu uh, and Lovecraft horror, that as much, as good as an ending as you can get, it is still going to be a bad ending in most ways. Yeah, they usually end up in a uh, insane asylum or end up uh, due to they cannot handle what they seem just Ending their own life. Like you be through a window. Yeah. Okay. All the things. Due to the what they have seen is too much for their mind. And they just want the nightmares to end. Like Yeah, it, it, it's it, it's not happy rainbows. Does something happen if we do tarry out on the waters? Anyways, let's head on out over here. And he is not aboard. We cannot throw him overboard. Can we go back over here? Or is he just going to get pissed with us? Can we even dock here now? Yes, we can. Reminder, your name will be saved. There's no time for this. We must get back out to sea. Okay. So final prep stuff. Wait, can, can we take her, him to the lighthouse lady? She is gone. Oh, we, she is plain we, gone. We can go to the mayor though. Uh, nothing new. Okay. Can we take a look? at the lighthouse no uh, oh, Lord, he not at least was already so I can't read again our panic isn't rising at all I oh I think it is starting to rise let's see Glacier boy or they came into contact with the ultimate chaos <laughs> here the blind idiot God. I, I should not say his name. Uh, actually, I can't say his name. Asafov. Yes, uh, he's one of the characters I talked about in uh, Something Sunday. In one of those games Hillian played. And yeah, if Asasov woke up, I went to reality ends. Because we're all in a, uh, his dream. Yeah, I think... Yeah, I think if there is a different ending, then we would have... 
we needed to have been yeah it, it needed to have been done before this let's see nobody here yeah don't be we were able to conceal it yeah but that was just to not step forward with that bit right okay now well before we do end i'm going to look up the tv tropes page yeah for clue See, if there is actually ending? difference yeah, if again once again if there is if so yeah, tv tropes dread i've been hearing there is multiple okay uh, Let's see. Into frustration myth. Let me just. What is this? Artifact of Doom. Okay. That is hidden. Let me just find on page and then. Ending. Okay. Oh. Okay, there is. There is a different ending. Uh, let's see. Let's hide that again. How do I get? How do I get? Let's see. Multiple endings. Two possible, one bad, and one good. Bad ending. The fisherman can follow the collector's instruction and bring back his love from where she had drowned, and in turn unleash a Cthulhu like giant squid from the depths. The result in Greater Marrow. Uh, this results in Greater Marrow's burning destruction. And the good ending. Um, oh, okay, let's see. What? Captain, you're scaring me. Captain? It, do it does look like it's a choice right here at the end. So we quickly hand all of this over. Yes, yes, shut up. Hmm. Probably could have just put a safe right there. Anyways, uh, let's see. You, you said his name. Uh, incorrect. You. We are not in his dream, but he will destroy the universe if the music stops playing to calm him. Okay. Let's see. It said something about the lighthouse. Uh, is she going to do it if we go this way, or do we need... Has something be needed to be done beforehand? Do we need to crash into it? Hmm. Well, that might be the it. We need, might need to crash into it. I don't think it's that. Uh, maybe... Maybe we can draw her attention. There's still something out here. Okay, it it said that the lighthouse keeper will aim the light at a specific point. Um... How? Okay, we definitely would have needed to be to do something to get un to unlock that. Uh, let's see. Does anything say something about this? About how we get it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Surprise, oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, hello there, Puma. <laughs> Thank you for the raid. <laughs> okay, at least that one works. Uh, welcome. You caught us at the yeah at the end of the uh, of the game and the stream. <laughs> well, <Welcome. laughs> I, 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 I was expecting something to come up here. Uh, yeah, welcome to Dredge, where we are at the end of the game. Uh, we have got... There are two endings to this game, and we've already had the bad ending. I'm looking up if there is a way to... Surprise, well, if, if, 
Uh, what? Again with the echo? Why does that mute? Why does the ping of that echo? Yeah. Uh, uh, but yeah, there there is a bad ending and a good ending with this. I just I'm trying to find out how to do the good ending uh, because it says something with the lighthouse here, but it's not doing the thing that needs to be done. Um, let's see. Let me if I just searched up dredge good ending. Well, yeah, but yeah, still, thank you for the raid, Puma. Yeah, thank you a lot for the raids. Uh, for anyone new who doesn't already know me, I'm Hit Captain Hillian. Hillian is just okay. Over there we have uh, my brother Paranoid and Ball Armed friends and co-host Rakir. Uh, we typically stream games for the story. We, um, because of that, we do a variety of games. We've done strategy, we've done shooter, we've done stealth. And yeah, <clears throat> uh, we typically try to stream twice during the main week. And then uh, as much as we can in the weekend. Uh, fuck off with your cookie stuff. Uh, um, yeah, I, so, <laughs> things are going to be a bit uninteresting for more as I try to find out how to get this dumb ending. Uh, let's see. Don't uh, to worry, the I'm mostly armed with a brass cannon, Eldritch horror spray, and garlic. Okay, mayor. Oh, hello. I, I just don't realize the cat is aimed at the shot. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. When <laughs> he got one when he requested one for this game. Uh, let's see. As uh, long as he doesn't aim that cannon at me, we're good. Well, he's already doing that, so sorry about that. <laughs> uh, let's see. Congratulations for you to notice the cannon now. Okay. Lighthouse Keeper, Cryptic. O okay. Apparently we've all <clears throat> Apparently we've already crossed the point where we could go to the good ending, so we're stopping that. We're stepping back from that. Uh, yeah, we're at the point of no return with this game. We've gotten all five relics from all five regions of this game. And yeah, we can step up, deliver the relic. The approach is drawing closer with... And it's, uh, actually... That, yeah. Can we still... Or do, is it... Okay, it will pass enough. We need some time to repair. Okay. Can we confront him out the book? Because we know... Uh, there we go. This... This is supposed to be what leads to the good ending. To get this, uh, to get this available, you need to find the old mayor of uh, Little Marrow, and apparently where he spawns is random. So oh. we hey. got lucky in finding him. <laughs> okay, uh, tell me more about that book of yours. Uh, of course, to anyone watching and who is interested in this game, of course, there's going to be massive, massive spoilers, of course, since we're at the end. So I, I won't blame you for stepping away. Uh, which book? This one here? With a wry grin, he pulls a dusty tome from the nearest shelf and glances at the cover. There's not really not much to be said uh, of histories of the Grey Isles. It's quite a chore. Yeah, he's playing dumb. You know which book I mean. Play dumb. Your hypocrisy is weary wearying. I suppose we must go through this rigmarole yet again. The book of the deep appears in his hands, sheathed in its dirty crimson jacket. Hmm. Go ahead, ask us. Yeah. Us? Where did you get it? Sparkling dust motes hang in the air between you. Don't you remember? You were there. What? The air around the book begins to pulse rhythmically like a quickening heartbeat. We were only we've only been here for sixty seven days. So was she. Give me the book. Your words hang in the space between. You won't change a thing. The book is ours. Step closer. You take a step closer through the crackling room. A collector lurches forward in response. What can you possibly hope to achieve? 
take the book. You strike out with your right fist, punching hard into the jaw of the collector. His face shatters and falls to the ground. Wait, what? We... We are the collector. We have always been the collector. W You're pathetic. The Book of the Deep is in your hands. Understand this plainly. Before you sink us into despair, I know how to bring her back. It's all right there on the pages, and now you've seen its power firsthand. We wield the power to release her from her slumber. Find her last relic and we can undo everything. Undo what you did. Okay, so we don't even need the last relic to get here. Uh, what now then? Uh, we talk uh, to uh, the lighthouse lady, perhaps? First, well, we're doing we a save. First, we're doing a save. Or just a hard save and continue. That that explains it. Nobody has lived here in 20 years. No food has come this way. And the first time that we saw the collector was in the mirror, you know, was in a window, a reflection. We, we are the one who has been writing all of those notes. I'm ready. Must take one. Yeah, you have always been with us. With, you have always hounded our shadow, our regrets, our pasts, our mistakes. I, I did not see that twist coming. We did yeah. not go insane, because we've always been insane. The shape disappears from the mirror. The chill rises in your body as you turn to leave. The Collector is with you. That explains why he's not in here either. Because he has never been there. He has never been anywhere but in the driver's seat with us. Okay. Uh, the lighthouse is still not pointing anywhere else. Yeah, I think you should talk to her when, when you had the book. Then maybe she would tell you what to do with it. Let's see. Uh... Okay, yeah. Once we once you get into here, you are locked into the bad ending. So that is that is why it saves there, so you can't screw yourself out. So we go back to our save because we have the book now. We have always had the book. Now let's return it to the library. Or at the very least, special library. Cast some light on it. You're gonna shine it with a flashlight? What the heck do you think that's gonna do? Lighthouse Keeper. <gasps> what is it? I have the book. You've had it this whole time, have you not? It doesn't matter. Make the most of this window of lucidity. Now is the time to act. Do you still remember where it happened? In that gloomy darkness beyond, behind the bay? When you are ready? I'll point the way. So the, the, the reason why she recognized the engine was because it was our boat. The old... I'm ready. Yeah, final phase of the game. Yes. Yes. We must wait until night is thickest. Until the ocean is at it uh, as it is, <clears throat> is as it was all those years ago. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I did... I think, I guess I should have seen it somewhat coming, in that, in these Eldritch games, you always go insane, and but it's, the worst we had was basically panic attacks, but that was because we were always insane, we, we never left, we never arrived, we've always been here. Yeah, it's more like, either, you will either go insane, or you 
We'll do something to prevent you from falling into madness. Go and do what's right for her. Throw it back. Oop, something with flashing lights passing by. Uh, anything? Nope, nothing new. Yeah, it has been... It has been... Nope. Stream timer. But we did actually leave, I presume, because it has been 20 years. So that is why nobody recognizes us here. Uh, well, so okay, did so recognize the like, like the treasure trader, trader, thought you looked familiar. Yeah. And she okay. did. And she did as well. The lighthouse lady. Yeah, I, I I know that nothing is going to jump out at us, but still, there's just ugh, the the chance, even the most infinitesimal chance. Yeah, we we had that special thing you happen earlier, after all. This is the place. Throw it back. Look, struggles in your grasp. Its weight somehow shifting from side to side. Silver ribbons flail pathetically against your fingers. Throw it back. You hold it high above your head. A low groan rumbles from the book, echoed by another from the depths. Throw it back. You throw it into the foaming water. Say it. It's not sinking. It's not... It's not going back. Oh. It's the death! It's the thing we encountered before, earlier in this stream. And... In one way, we are with her now. And that, that is the, the best ending we can hope for in Dredge. And instead of the place being on fire and desolate and destroyed, life goes on. It's even an aurora. And the fog is gone. The... Yeah, now we know that it's probably a reason we saw the damn thing earlier. Yeah. Ugh, I, I was really fearing that we were going... We were, we had already pulled the plug on Cthulhu's uh, <laughs> coffin or whatever. Oof. Okay, yeah. Th this game... This game is good. There's just no other words for it. It's maybe not truly amazing. Like... Once you do get in a bit, you do start to notice that things aren't actually as scary as you think they are, but that is the thing with the human mind, isn't it? Uh, the dread is often worse than the actual fear. It, it is a fun game, Puma. It is a fun game. You will be fleeing from things quite a bit. Yeah, we um, recommend it. Yeah. Yours? Yeah, have a... Enchanted brass cannon, some eldritch horror spray, and well, something, something that might be better than garlic, but it should be safe. Yeah, I, I definitely. None of the time we spent with this game was wasted. The, I like the developers of this. I, I doubt we would ever see a sequel to this game because there's not really a way you can really do a sequel once the. The Eldritch has been banished or unleashed already. Well, actually, but, they might make more in this world. Maybe, yeah. But at the very least, they've shown themselves to be very, uh, pretty, very uh, creative. So yeah. I'll definitely be keeping an eye on them. We, we will. For now, we though, will. we have seen the this before. Let me let me do a quick. Look, uh, I very much doubt that there is an after credits thing, but let me look all the same. 
uh, let's see, Teaver Tropes, the Dredge. And then... Finding Page. Okay, no post credit stuff. Okay. So, let's skip that. We've seen it before. And, yeah. We're just exactly five minutes over time, as I was going to say there. <clears throat> that was Dredge. And, yeah, I'm more than pleased with this game. I will definitely keep an eye out on Blackwater after this. Yeah, and this is actually even our first official horror game playthrough. Yeah. We have one on it or something, something, but that wasn't played the true. That was a showcase. This is an entire first series of horror. Yeah, the first time we've covered a, a horror game from beginning to end. There's probably still plenty that we've missed. Like there have there were more of those Blackstone shrines where we could get lore of the world and such, or glimpses from the future, perhaps. I'll probably look those up as well. And I had seen <clears throat> I had seen a video that at least claimed that you could fight back against the monsters. Though how I did, obvi I obviously didn't actually look at the video, so I have no idea how that could be done. But it would be definitely be interesting. Oh yeah, now, no, though, I, 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 I've been now daring to watch other YouTubers f play fully this game, <laughs> just to see yeah, how they react. Now that we can avoid spoilers and such. Yeah, but yeah, Ugh, still getting, still getting chills down my spine from this. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, imagine that fish at the end is the very reason you hate the, the deep sea. Yep, because I, I just do not like being unable to see what may be lurking. And but in the water, it's even worse because then you can also be attacked from below and above. Mm. Yeah, then the, you also had the question, do you want to see what it's below? Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, you had a good night, Helian, and hope the week ahead is good. I hope so as well. I hope you'll also be as well as well. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? But for now, let's go look for someone to raid. So from one raid to another, just going to chain these. Let's have a look. And of uh, course... There's another Eldritch Horror game recommended. Darkest Dungeon 2. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, from low to high, we have Reef the Leaf with Breath of Fire 2. Nico Silverado is streaming Path of Titans. Let me double check. The place should that, be muted. So it's a dinosaur game. Let's see. Uh, okay, yeah. It's maybe like the Isle or something. Okay, it is like the bullshit. Isle. I think that some developers may have worked on the Isle before, before they quit and made their own. Since the Isle has been on the Isle Axis a bit way too long, and they have remade the ancients several times. Okay. So people um, are getting a bit skeptical about the Isle. Well, next then we have Intro VT, who is playing Hearthstone. Uh, Frain is having a special event. Uh, let's see. Judging Eurovision sparkliest outfits. <laughs> okay. Wait, Eurovision is going on? I I, I don't keep track. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we should, uh, yeah, we should not do this. Yeah, that could get... Uh, yeah, <laughs> they could get the copies, claims and such. Uh, next up, we have Halloween 4545, who is still playing Knights of the Old Republic. Smoops on the Nonsense is back on Space Station 13. And last but not least, we have Puffle Cakey with Legend of Zelda Ter Terrors of the Kingdom. I I think I think they said I think Nintendo clarified at one point if it was Tears or Terrors. I yeah, think it was it, Tears. Fun fact. Hmm. My mother spoke about that game today that she learned it's about to release today. Uh, it, I actually it released yesterday, and I bought myself a copy earlier today, so I'll definitely be playing that before and between our <laughs> streams tomorrow. Yeah, is it, uh, let's see. I don't know. Is it, is it, she's tempted to buy it. Uh, let's see. There's two out here in the recommendeds that stick out to me. First off, we have Edit Edward, who is streaming Void Train, which is 
Now, an early access game that has a nice, a, a nice sense of humor and a nice potential from what I've seen of it. Um, and then we have Iggy Maid. It's been a while since we've seen them. They're playing Red Faction Gorilla. 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 Okay, they, they got a model now. Yeah, they, they had that one before. They just had a different one before. I think it's actually two people who run this channel and they just swap it sometimes. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Anyways, who do you say? Who would you say crossed the raids? Good question. I'm leaning towards uh, Nico Silverado. Or you know what? Edith Let's Edwards. go with Nico. All right, Nico it is. So copy the name, head to our place, slash raid and paste. And there we go, get that started. And yeah, tomorrow we'll have some uh, showcase Sunday in the afternoon and uh, Ori and the Blind Forest in the evening. And after that, we'll be back to Prince of Persia Warrior Within on Tuesday. So yeah, thank you everyone. Uh, <clears throat> thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Uh, thank you, Puma, Glacier Boy, and let's see, uh, no other people who have been actively chatting, but I see some other names in there. Thank you all the same for being here, and as always, thank you, Drakir. You're welcome as always, my friend. And yeah, uh, like I said, we have two streams planned for tomorrow, GMT, uh, time, GMT plus one time uh, for three in, after, in the afternoon and eight in the afternoon. And yeah, thank you, uh, Glacier Boy. <clears throat> uh, let's see, nothing else to cover, I think. So yeah, thank you all again for watching. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, everyone, and watch out for monsters from below and deep. Yeah, from the dreadful depths. Depths, not depths. <laughs> well, both are were terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Dear God, so that's